The idea kind of was sparked in 2015 when I was in university and I was just playing around in 3D, uh, in the 3D software. And I created this funny little form and then I just kind of evolved it and then I said, okay, this is quite interesting. I always had this, this idea of what if, what if I could bring this to life? Around 2019, I decided to just go for it and bring my toy to life, starting with Karak, and uh, that's kind of when it took off. I reached to a certain stage where I'm happy and I can visualize it in my mind, and that's where I take it into uh, the digital uh, side of things, where I, I, I turn it into a 3D model. And if that's also really good, I take it onto the next stage where I paint and try out different finishes, different color schemes, for doing one of ones and, and, and experimenting at home, which is I feel like is the most important part of it, this is pretty much the thought process. It's sketch, model, print, and explore. I'd say the most challenging part for me is not actually coming up with the idea. It's getting what I have in my imagination or in my mind what I've visualized and translating it into something that I can turn into a tangible object or a tangible toy. Once I get over that hump, then once you make it, you can experiment with colors, you can experiment with different finishes. It's by design where I try to make it as relatable as possible. I don't want people to have to think about it too much. They should just see it and get it. I'm quite influenced by uh, science fiction and uh, fantasy and even growing up video games and toys uh, were, um, were a big influence on me so it's all a matter of exploration I believe. Although um, it, is, it is a bit of a challenge because it's something new to me and it's new to the region but it's definitely something equally as fun if not a lot more fun and rewarding uh, when it comes down to actually producing and seeing my creations right in front of me and in other people's homes. When it comes down to NFTs, I feel like we're at a very early stage and so it's, it's quite exciting. Coming from someone who mainly works in the dig digital field, whether it's digital arts, uh, rendering, illustrations, even digital collectibles, it's a whole new avenue that we're um, just kind of opening the door on right now and we haven't begun to explore yet. And then I thought, okay, hey, I'm doing a lot of digital work, if not most of my work is digital. This may actually add value to my work as opposed to just getting a few likes on Instagram and then getting buried by the next 20 posts. So uh, this is something that I feel would definitely give people a leg up and um, uh, empower them in a sense. So it's creating toys for all generations. And that's something I, I really hope to achieve and that's kind of the mission. Why would you settle for just one point in time or one generation? Good design is timeless.